G'day, this is Captain Noob, and I'm about to shoot this guy in the head. This is your last warning. You will relinquish your weapons and banned items, or prepare to face the consequences. Oh, the mighty man with the spear. You can pry my weapons from my cold, dead hands. This fool challenges the Legion, brothers. Let us teach him some manners. Him? You Excuse me? This is the tri-beam laser rifle. Now, I got a tip off that this thing was godly, and, uh... I think we're going to prove this on this day, and um, it, it killed those guys so hard that skeletons formed on those, their uh, crosses. We won't kill the slaves, though. We'll leave the poor abused women alone. They're going to continue tossing spears at me like some stupid tribals. We're about to show the Legion that, uh, you know, sometimes you can't rely on sharp bits of metal on the ends of sticks to do stuff. You, you, sometimes you got to get energy weapons, and... Every time you see a red number, that's a critical end. Look at that dude running away. Absolute coward. Face your death like a legionary. Be or become an ash pile. Never mind, that's the only option here. So, as we make our way up the hill, I think we've cleared out every single dude around here. We'll leave the children alone. I'm not, I'm not Anakin Skywalker. See, they're even friendly. And we'll step in the gates and we'll continue this killing spree. There you are. Yes, here I am. Eat hot laser. <laughs> I'm one-shotting everything. This is great. There goes the fairy. Don't shoot Siri. She's pretty helpful. I asked her to change songs on my Spotify, so you've earned your life this day, Siri, and use it well. Now, obviously, a tri-beam laser rifle. It's got a bit of spread to it. Sometimes it's not going to go exactly where you're pointing, which, you know... If you miss a shot and the lasers still hit anyway, I guess that's a positive, right? But we're having no problems slaughtering these guys. We're also kind of slaughtering the weapon condition as well. But as we go towards the back of the camp, where there's a howitzer that I armed for the Lucky Shades, of course. And you know what the best part is? I'm not even wearing the Lucky Shades. This little halo ring around my noggin that that's giving me damage to shoulder endurance and also some health regeneration and despite this being what is the equivalent of a sawn off shotgun in energy weapon form well, that guy's doing push-ups i admire dedication bro but i'm gonna shoot you until you're dead the legion are weird anyways so before we burn all of the bull's flags there is one more thing we need to discuss with the man himself you are. Welcome to Caesar's tent full of Praetorian guards who are about to all get wrecked. We're just one-shotting all these guys in a row. I tell you what, if you've got brooms in your legion seas, you might need them. Then after I'm done with you, maybe there'll be no one left to pick them up. Anyways, so we can continue to herd these guys around the room. Their reliance on fists Bye bye Caesar, rather than like energy weapons. That's their downfall. How has the Legion survived this long? Caesar must have been some sort of genius to keep all of these ash piles in check. <laughs> There's nothing left. I'm just critting everything. Okay, I should probably explain myself here, but not before I do this. Look at me. I am the Caesar now, and you feeling alright? It's weird. It's a weird face to pull. Okay, so now we're outside of Deathclaw Promontory. I don't know exactly how many Deathclaws will be spawning here because I have cleared this out earlier, but I installed a mod that allows this place to respawn. But anyways, laser tri-beam gun. It's really cool. I originally came into the Fallout franchise and Broken Steel. You'd find this commonly carried by Super Mutant Overlords and such, and the game was cheating back in Fallout 3 because if this thing hit you, you just lose like 60 health or something crazy like that. Just even with a glancing blow, which was BS. But that power seemingly has been transferred into this thing for New Vegas. So we've got the max charge micro fusion cells, which give us an extra 50% damage if memory recalls. And we're getting about 47 per pallet because it's three beams, which is a pretty high damage. And then you've got the DPS of 411, which is really, really good. Now, 
we've got a couple of different perks going. Actually, just one. We've, we've swapped out Grunt for the perk called Laser Commander. Um, so Laser Commander will give us an extra 15% damage with the... Here it is. Yeah, 50% damage with laser guns, which this thing is a laser gun. And an extra 10% chance, flat chance, to critically hit with any laser weapon. So, if you've got a Gatling laser, that's just a flat 10% bonus. Um, normally, that thing's crit multiplier is 0.02. So, lessen your ability to crit by a, a sheer dumb amount. But, you know, that's just a flat 10%. So, that means... Uh, if you run a Gatling laser, every shot's got a 10% chance to crit. But this is not a Gatling laser. Let's just talk about the Tri-Beam laser rifle. And like I said before, every time you see a red number, that's a critical. This thing has a critical multiplier of 1.5 times. Now, I'm thinking that means that each of these individual shots, just like the laser the laser gun, uh, the metal blaster from uh, Fallout 3... Uh, each of those shots rolls that 1.5 times extra chance to critically hit. So, although we're getting a lot of red numbers, that's probably mean at least one of the projectiles is, is critting. And you'll actually witness and understand that this is doing w wildly varying amounts of damage. But if it's a sneak critical, as you saw back there, all of those shots will be criticals. And you'll do upwards of... 450 damage, which is really good. Now, if we want to find something to kill worth killing, we've just shot a Deathclaw Alpha in the head for 800 damage, which is not quite Paciencia, but this thing fires this fast. So obviously the DPS is going to be higher, and we've just cleared out what a, a small squad of Deathclaws. Look, we'll just go back into the close quarters confines of Deadwind Cavern. 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 Ca camel? Deadwind Camel, let's go. This weapon is a Gunrunner's Arsenal variant, therefore it comes with a couple of extra mods, including increased damage, HD caps, that's going to increase your condition and its wear rate, and an extra 24 in the capacity to keep your DPS rolling. Alright, so welcome back to Deadwind Cavern, population a bunch of ash piles named Deathclaw. Now, I've noticed when I usually come back here, there's no death claws around. So I've installed a few mods to uh, encourage the game to respawn the creatures that might live in here. But uh, through preliminary testing, I haven't found that it's it's mostly successful. But it does leave a lot of death claws behind. I might get enhanced spawning mods just so we can like flood this place with death claws because I think the tri beam laser rifle as it stands is strong enough to take on twice as many death claws as we're seeing now. There's another critical. I feel I feel like that's not the first time we've saw that challenge pop up, which leads me to believe that in fact that we can multiple we can do multiple criticals at once. And again, the varying damage will reinforce that uh, hypothesis, but you know, if you still need to get XP to level up, then you can utilize this thing. You've got a bunch of criticals, and you'll gather them quite quickly. Same thing you can do with the Rat Slayer. Every 100 shots you get with a maximum 100% crit rate build will get you an extra little bit of XP, which is nice. And you'll get those criticals pretty fast if you're firing at Death Claws, because they'll take a lot of damage. There we go. Legendary Death Claw goes down in one shot. And now we've got to deal with the rest of the little bastards. Just a little baby, normal adult death claws. And without taking a scratch or a claw or a falling over and stubbing our toe, we have defeated Deadwind Cavern just like that. I guess I could shoot a giant rad scorpion. Robo scorpion. Yeah, giant robo scorpion. In order to show off this power in its entirety, I'm going to shoot at a giant robo scorpion. And we're going to watch that damage come in and see if we can pop some white numbers out of all of this. That's a lot of rads I've just been taken. That's fine, because I can out-DPS this thing and turn that giant robo-scorpion into a neat little ash pile right somewhere. Although it didn't want to turn into an ash pile because it turned into a bunch of exploded parts. Interesting. Okay, let's try that again, but faster. 
input rushing water and also implant GRX. We'll throw a fresh magazine of max charge here. And oh my goodness. Wow. That's fast. That's really fast. That's not... That's not 50% faster. You, you get right out of here. That's easily double the speed. I gotta see what the DPS is like on this thing. Now we've got rushing water. Please tell me it changes. So it's still 47 point times 3. 411. Okay. Well, that's disappointing. I guess it doesn't encounter or it doesn't factor in exactly how fast you can fire this thing. But wow. You could probably get more DPS with only a Gatling laser in the game, but you won't be critting like that, so... I don't know, is that the highest DPS weapon you could get in the game just then? And... Yeah, I think I'm in the mood for testing out more energy weapons. Let's take a look at a Gatling laser, because in Fallout New Vegas, Gatling lasers were good. They were never like that ever again in the Fallout franchise, but in New Vegas, a Gatling laser... Mmm, perfect. We'll, we'll try that next time, maybe. And... If you want to see more of New Vegas videos, show some encouragement in the comments. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Hmm? Okay. Well, if you don't want to do that, that's fine. Bye!